If you knew about it, why aren't you thinking of a way to solve it? What am I supposed to do? Unless she loses the baby. Yes, we can stop her from giving birth. Right. Once she gives birth to the baby, it will be too late. Jack, didn't you promise me that you would make sure our son would grow up happily in your family? But if he couldn't get a penny from your father, life would be hard for him. I'll talk to my dad tomorrow. If he won't change his mind, I'll have to beg for mercy from Pinky. Why are you going to see her? For the future of our son, I'll need her to do me a favor. Look at it. It will only make you sad. Throw it away. No matter what, he's still my baby's father. I've got to save at least one picture. <sighs> Here's our pinky. As long as we stay strong, those pictures can't bring us down. Yeah, Mom. Stop pressuring her like that. Thank you, Dad. Hey, you guys. You're all dressed up. Where are you going? Huh? Oh, a friend told us. A courier company short staff. We're gonna try it. <laughs> Delivery? The traffic's terrible. It's dangerous. We'll wear safety helmets, okay? We've got to do something in order to make a good living. Yeah, Easton's right. Dad, you better stay at home. The work will be too difficult for you. <laughs> Nothing's easy when it comes to making money. If you want to earn some money from other people's pockets... You'd better at least put some effort into it, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> the two lazy bones in our family have finally matured. <laughs> Every card has a silver lining. All right, there's at least a glimmer of hope. In the future, we've got to stick together and live a better life. Mum's mm -hmm. so right. <laughs> we better get going now, then. You girls take it easy, huh? Dad, Easton, be careful outside. Okay, okay. This is good. From this day forward, the four of us will pull ourselves up and live a wonderful life. We'll just wait for the baby to come. Okay. Mom, I made some tea for you. It might be too strong. Mm. See if you like it. Okay. Mmm, smells good. <laughs> Mom? I'm too excited to sleep today. Because my dear son is going to get married tomorrow. <sighs> it would be perfect if Shannon could be here on such a big day. That ungrateful little girl. Where on earth is she hiding from us? She never gives me a break. Mom, after the wedding's done, I'm sure she'll change her mind. She'll come back and be with us sooner than we expect. Yes, I'm sure she'll come back right away the minute she hears about your wedding news. Hmm. After you get married, Shannon, Helen, and you will live under the same roof. It will be so wonderful and so happy. Hmm. This day will be coming very soon. Windsor, I want to say thank you to you. I know that you made this decision for my sake. Promise me you'll be happy. If so, then I won't have any regrets. Mm. Here, all the best to you. Thank you, Mom. Windsor, 
Our wedding will commence promptly at 2 p.m. in the afternoon. I'm so prepared to be your wife. See you tomorrow at the chapel. Shannon, I'm getting married tomorrow. Just forget me. I'm sure you'll find someone who loves you in the near future. Dad, I'm begging you here, please. Just accept my son, Sean, as your own grandson. He's innocent. Do my words mean nothing to you? I wouldn't allow him into this family even if I was on my deathbed. He won't see a penny from me. Dad, have you completely lost your mind already? Pinky and I are already divorced. She has nothing to do with me anymore. I only have one son right now and he's Sean. I don't know why you're being so stubborn. Fine. Listen carefully. Even if I have no descendants left to pay tributes for me after I pass on, I'll never allow Jenny's son to do that. So you'd better drop the idea for good and end things with Jenny. Otherwise, you'll be sorry. Get out. You'll regret this. Pinky? What are you doing here? Did Jenny come with you? No. If you have the time, can we find a place to talk? Is it necessary? Can't we talk in here? It's not convenient here. I want to talk about the baby with you. I'll be waiting in the car. Pinky, huh? where are you going? I'm going, uh, to buy some fruits. Ah, oh, I see. Go buy some fruits you want to eat, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll stay here and clean the house. When you get back, I'll take you out for dinner. Taking me out for dinner? Your old man gave me some money. He asked me to take you out for a big meal. So let's go squander his money. <laughs> okay. I'll be back soon, okay? Hey, wait, wait. Hmm? Your hair looks a bit messy. Make it quick. Mm, I'll be going. Mm. Go ahead. You've been through too much. I just wish you could be happy every day. Let's go. Where to? Let's try to find a, a nice quiet place so we can talk pleasantly. I can't. My mom asked me to have dinner with her. She's waiting for me at home right now. I promise it won't take too much time. Come on. Jack, where are you right now? I'm busy. I'll call you later. Are you with Pinky right now? Listen, I'll talk with you later. I gotta go. Hello? Jack? Jack!
What are you taking me here for? I'm not due for any natal care yet. Pinky. I... I was hoping that you would abort the baby. What did you just say? What kind of father are you? Don't get all worked up. Listen to me. Here's what I'm thinking. We've already gotten a divorce. If you give birth to this baby, it'll end up being a huge burden on you. <sighs> no way. I'd rather die than to let you get your way again. <sighs> you can't be this selfish. Even if you don't want to do this, you've got to consider the baby. What kind of life will he have? After it's born, will he be happy? This has nothing to do with you. I raised the baby all by myself. All right, then. I've got to be responsible to my son. Sean is innocent. How can I explain to him that he's going to have a half-brother or sister? It's not fair to him. What did you say? Are you insane? You're going to give up your baby for that Sean? How could you be so heartless and cruel? What right do you have to say this to me? Does this qualify you to be a dad right now? I'm doing this in order to be a good dad. I'm doing this for my only son. I promised Jenny that I'd give all my love to our son, Sean. Don't you worry. I won't be counting on you to perform your duty. I won't ask you to take care of us. But don't you ever even dare dream of hurting my baby. Never ever. Do you hear me? Don't get so angry. This isn't a good place to talk about this kind of thing. Let's get out of here. Jack, what are you doing? Where on earth are you? I'm on my way to the place we used to always go. I'll call you later. The beach? Why didn't you answer it? It's not really that important. You look gorgeous today. <laughs> Thank you. You're quite handsome. I'm the luckiest woman here. I'm sorry. The bridegroom may be a bit late. It's okay. He must be on the way. Are you coming today? I'm confident that you won't abandon me and leave me alone. I'm sure you'll arrive smiling to walk me down the aisle soon. I don't mind waiting. I'll wait for you here. All right, let's get a good picture. One more shot. Oh, bride, give me a smile. One more.
Okay, thank you. Helen, congratulations. You look amazing today. <laughs> thank you, Mom. <laughs> Miss Gao, I'll mm -hmm. entrust Helen into your caring hands then. Don't worry. <laughs> She's also my daughter now. Okay, thank you. Here, take yeah, a seat. Sit down. Be careful. Hey? <sighs> Winter. Why didn't you answer it? <laughs> Nothing serious. It might just be one of my clients. Uh, better switch it to vibrate only. Oh. I thought it might be a call from Shannon. If Shannon knew it was your big day, she'd probably call and congratulate you. Windsor! Oh. What is Shannon doing? I didn't get a chance to see her. She's going to be my sister-in-law. I'm sure her and I will be best friends. Uh... Oh, by the way, why didn't your daughter come today? Uh... Oh, uh, here's the thing. Shannon is learning how to paint now. I wanted her to hold an art exhibition, so I sent her to America to learn. This wedding was planned in such a big hurry, so she just couldn't make it back here in time. I'm sorry about that. Oh, I understand. Oh. It doesn't matter. Please have a seat. There's still some time. Okay. Mm. Windsor, I love you. I'll wait for you to marry me till I die. Shannon, I'm getting married. I'd like for you to congratulate me. Can't you just be happy for me? I hope the next time we meet, you'll be completely fulfilled and happy. You're my dearest sister, Windsor. some fruit. What on earth is taking her so long? Why hasn't she answered my calls? Why did you bring me here today? I know that you really like the sea view. It's wide and refreshing. The breeze here blows away all your worries, right? Pinky, you and I both know that this baby is going to be a huge burden on both of us. It's not that big of a deal, though. Although you and I got a divorce, we could still be good friends and even family. 
But once the baby's born, it will only suffer. So I hope that you'll reconsider this about what's best for both of us. I'm begging you. Show mercy to my baby. It's your baby as well. I know goddamn well the baby in your belly is mine. What's the point in uttering such rubbish? <sighs> hey! Don't do something stupid to make me despise you. Are you doing this in order to get a hold of my dad's money? That's so disgusting. Listen up. I've never laid a finger on your family's property. I will never exploit them to get money. I won't allow any of you to touch it either. Then what's the good of holding on to your baby? I just don't get it. You know it won't be good, don't you? I don't know. Come back. <sighs> Let go of me. Why can't I talk any sense into you? Hands off! You're being unreasonable! I'm begging you now, Pinky. Why are you asking for trouble like this? Don't you know that the baby will bring nothing but tragedy? What can I say to make you understand? Don't you believe me? Where are you going? What are you doing, Pinky? Pinky, what are you doing? Uh, leave me alone! I know you're mad right now. You don't want to talk to me at all. Right! You got it right! Are you finished here? You can't solve this problem by running away from it! Fine! I'll go with you! I'll go with you! Leave me alone! Get out of here! Get out! Get out! Have you seen my daughter come in today to buy fruit? Mom! But she... Don't we look handsome? Hey, what are you doing here? Where's Pinky? Pinky went out to buy some fruit, but she hasn't come back home yet. I came to find her. Have you found her yet? No. The peddler said he didn't see her. I've tried those stores there as well. None of them saw her. If she went out to run some errands, she definitely would have told me. What do we do now? Oh, don't worry. Mom, I'll look for her. Hey, Ethan, be careful on the road, you hear me? Don't hit anyone, all right? Be careful. <sighs> oh, honey, don't worry. I'm sure Ethan will find Pinky soon enough. <laughs> Let's get going home, huh? It's hot out here. Come on. Pinky, we both fell asleep just now. We're out in the middle of the sea. What do we do now? Where's the shore? <gasps> what now? Don't panic. Just calm down. What Don't do we panic. do now? Don't panic. It's all right. It's all right. But why aren't there any paddles in here? <gasps> Don't worry. <gasps> hey, hey, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Pinky, just listen to me, okay? I guess that we're a long way... Away from the shore. 
Uh, how about we try paddling with our hands? Okay? Oh, okay. Don't move around. Don't panic, huh? Mm -hmm. You've got me. Do you hear? Okay. You just sit here and don't move. Remember. Hey, hey, hey. You all right? I'm fine. Pinky. Huh? This isn't working. I'll paddle here. And you paddle on that side. We've got to keep it balanced, all right? Okay. Let's try. Mm. All right? I'll say one, two, three. Okay. Let's, all right? One. Two. Three. Go. Stand up! Ah! Get down now! Hey! Pinky! 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 Hey! Pinky! 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 Jack! Be careful! Piggy doesn't know how to swim! Jack, Hurry and save her! her. <gasps> Jack, help save my baby! Uh, uh, give me your hand! Your hand! Where are you? Hold on! I'll help you! Help me! Jack, save my baby! Pinky anymore. There's no more use. Besides, if you call the police, they'd suspect it was you who killed Pinky. Would you shut up? I can't find her now. Call the police. Calm down, Jack. Jack, you won't be able to save her. It's impossible. You don't have the strength left. If you go out there, you'll die of exhaustion. Jack, let's go. Let's go. You're not gonna try? Fine, Wait, I'll go save Jack! Her. Don't go out there! Jack! <sighs> Jack! Jack, we've gotta leave now. Pinky! Jack, leave! Hurry. Get up. Let's go. Hey, have you seen my sister?
<laughs> Buddy, don't cry, okay? Hey, have you seen my sister, Pinky? No. I have to go back now. She might still be alive back there. Are you crazy? What if anyone sees you out there? That's not important! What if she ended up getting to the shore? There's no one there to save her! What if that didn't happen? If that's the case and people saw you show up there, you'd be charged with murder. And then you'd end up in jail. From now on, you've got to start listening to me. If anyone ever asks you, don't tell them you've been to the seashore. You've got to trust me now. We need to be cautious about our every move. No mistakes allowed. Can you help me get more water? Hmm? I know you're not feeling very well, but I'm doing this for your own good. Windsor. You must think I'm really stupid. I always believed you loved me as well. I always believed that you'd come marry me here today. Thank you. You've always been... A caring brother the whole time. In my next life. I hope that we're not siblings. In my next life. Would you want me as your wife then? Ha <laughs> 
even if love kills me. I feel happy now. Shannon? Shannon! Okay, the wedding's starting. Let's give a warm welcome to our handsome groom and our beautiful bride-to-be. It's time now. Smile, my child. Mm. Hey, aren't you going to answer it? It might be someone congratulating us. Just answer it. It's okay. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Hello, Shannon. It's my wedding day. How can you be so stubborn? What? I'm Windsor Gal. What? Windsor! <sighs> Windsor! Windsor! Let's welcome the bride and groom. What's going on with you? You're acting weird. Where are you going? Mom, Shannon wants to see me. I gotta go. What did you say? Shannon wants to see you? Has Shannon contacted you? Uh, Mom, don't ask me any questions. She wants to see me. I have to go now. No way, Windsor. Today is your wedding day. You have to complete the ceremony before you go anywhere. Shannon's headmaster called and said that... Shannon killed herself today. She left behind two letters. What did you say? Shannon killed herself? Mom. She killed... What? Oh my God! Mom! Mom! Jenny. Are you sure... There's no one anywhere near the seaside. I checked everywhere. There's no sign of any people. Stop being so nervous. But what if Pinky survived? What if she managed to swim back to the shore? There would be nobody there for her. Don't you think we should go back and look? That's impossible. When she was ten years old, she was nearly drowned. She'd grown scared of the sea ever since. Besides, she couldn't even swim. I'm sure that she's already drowned. But I heard somewhere that in critical moments, people become really strong. What if... Impossible. The currents are too strong. She must be dead for sure. So that means... It's possible Pinky's dead. There's no way she can still be alive. How could this have happened? Why did this happen? Am I the one to blame for killing her? Yes. You're the one who did it. But I didn't! I didn't. There's no way I killed Pinky. All I wanted... All I wanted was to persuade her into an abortion. It was an accident. 
but the results are the same. Pinky is no longer alive. I saw it with my own eyes. You pushed her into the sea. It's you. You killed her. Thank、you. 